left-wing puppeteer George Soros finances domestic terrorism again, when will the Trump administration arrest him? By now it is apparent that left-wing billionaire George Soros isn't just funding protests against conservatives and President Donald J. Trump, he's financing a domestic terrorist operation and frankly, he should be arrested. The most recent incident with dirty Soros money all over it is the violence committed on the campus of UC Berkeley, ostensibly to protest an event featuring conservative Firebrand and Breitbart News senior editor, Milo Yiannopoulos, whose dangerous faggot tour, He is Gay, has upset liberal snowflakes and leftist activists on college campuses all over the country. As reported by The Daily Caller, the Alliance for Global Justice, a Tucson-based organization that helped to organize the violent stoppage of the Yiannopoulos event, received financial support from a left-wing charity that is funded by Soros, along with the city of Tucson, many large companies and a major labor union. The Alliance for Global Justice is listed as an organizer and fiscal sponsor for Refuse Fascism, a communist group that encouraged left-wingers to shut down the Yiannopoulos event, the DC reported. It was successful. The event was cancelled by the university after domestic terrorists set fires, destroyed property, vandalized businesses, and assaulted Trump and Yiannopoulos supporters. Related, find out how the angry left threatens our liberty at freedom. News While it's become fashionable for these thugs and their supporters to call Trump and his backers Nazis a false narrative that the discredited establishment media has echoed the fact is that the last time this kind of violence was being committed was in pre-Nazi Germany, by Hitler's brown shirts. As Mike Adams, the health ranger, noted in a recent column, Thanks to the invocation of journo terrorism by the anti-American left-wing media, Brainwashed libtards now believe they are free to engage in unbridled violence and acts of terrorism against Trump supporters, white people, and all conservatives. They justify their extreme violence by falsely claiming that Milo is Hitler or Trump is Hitler or, essentially, pick your targeted enemy, is Hitler. Yet it is those on the left who are the brown shirts, the book burners, the intolerant haters of free speech, law, and order. Emphasis added. In doing its journalist homework, the DC found that, based on the Alliance's most recent 990 tax form, the group received $2.2 million in funding for the fiscal year which ended in March 2016. One of the largest donors to the group was the Tides Foundation, a non-profit funded by Soros. The Tides gave the Alliance $50,000. And that money, as we can see, funded domestic terrorism. Anyone who says that these thugs are merely exercising their constitutional right to protest is intentionally being disingenuous. They are ignoring the fact that these aren't simple protests, Democrats, we're looking at you. These are acts of terrorism, defined as violence committed for the primary purpose of affecting political change. Democrats and far-left activists can cry all they want about how Trump is destroying the Constitution by arresting Soros and the other terrorist groups he funds, but the law is clear. Per 18 U. S. Code 2339C Prohibitions Against the Financing of Terrorism 1. In general. Whoever, in a circumstance described in subsection, b, by any means, directly or indirectly, unlawfully, and willfully provides or collects funds with the intention that such funds be used, or with the knowledge that such funds are to be used, in full or in part, in order to carry out a. an act which constitutes an offense within the scope of a treaty specified in subsection, e. 7, as implemented by the United States, or b. any other act intended to cause death or serious bodily injury to a civilian, or to any other person not taking an active part in the hostilities in a situation of armed conflict, when the purpose of such act, by its nature or context, is to intimidate a population, or to compel a government or an international organization to do or to abstain from doing any act, shall be punished as prescribed in subsection, d, 1. Emphasis added. It just doesn't get any plainer than that. The ACLU and other communist sympathizing left-wing legal groups and congressional Democrats can whine all day long about the First Amendment, but nowhere in that amendment or in the Constitution itself are acts of violence, threats to life and property condoned or permitted. 
The facts are thus, what took place at Berkeley was an act of domestic terrorism, by definition of the statute. George Soros was part of the funding mechanism for that terrorism. Related, find out who is threatening our civil society next at terrorism. News The Trump Justice Department should immediately issue an international arrest warrant for Soros and all who are connected to his communist attempts to destroy our republic through the use of premeditated violence. If you agree, sign this petition today. We must take our country back from the angry left and its communist backers. We started by electing Donald Trump. It's time to finish the job by prosecuting those who seek to undermine him and our entire government.